Hello and thank you for viewing this video tutorial. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create and apply classification categories in Argus Enterprise. Classifications were created to allow users to define a custom taxonomy for use in their Argus Enterprise models. They allow users to slice and dice information for viewing, reporting, and batch updating purposes. Let's briefly discuss how to add classifications so that they are available for use in your properties. In order to add classifications, you will need to have administrator rights to your Argus Enterprise environment. If you have these permissions, you can select Global Categories from the File menu, and then click on Manage Classifications. Here you can add property and tenant classifications and also assign their related values. Also note, you have the option of whether or not you would like the tenant classifications to appear on their own column in the rent roll schedule. If you do not select this option, they will not be listed separately on the rent roll, but they will still be available under the main Set Classifications field. Let's add a classification to see how this works. Now that we have added a classification, let's open a property to observe how to apply the tenant classifications that we have just created. With the property open, we will first click on Edit Property to be able to make changes to the file. Once the property is in edit mode, we'll click on the Tenants tab and scroll to the right to view the Tenants Classification section. When applying classifications to the tenants, you can approach it in one of two ways. The first method is to open the Set Classifications column to reveal the Tenant Classifications dialog. Here you can apply any of the available tenant classifications to the tenant and select the corresponding value. Alternatively, as you can see, there are two more columns in the Tenant Classification section. These represent each of the individual classifications that we chose to be displayed in the rent roll. You can also set the value for each of the classifications under the corresponding column headings. When the classification is set in either one of these locations, it will automatically be updated in the other location. These two methods are simply two ways of accessing the same settings. Now let's switch over to the Property tab to take a look at property level classifications. For each property, we can define these on the Classifications tab. To assign a classification for a property, simply right click in this field and select Add Record. You can then define the classification and the corresponding value, just as we did at the tenant level. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here in support via any one of the methods listed on the Argus Software Support site. If you have any comments about this video or ideas for future how-to videos, please leave them below. Also, please check out our extensive knowledge base for other helpful hints and tips regarding Argus Enterprise and our other software programs. We look forward to hearing from you.